What are the key benefits of a Microsoft Access database? Why you should consider using Microsoft Access. This video is for all the small and mid-sized business people who have decided that they've outgrown Excel and are thinking about moving up to a full-fledged database application but can't decide what to do. It's also for the person who's working for a larger company and is trying to convince the boss to use Microsoft Access, but the boss, who usually isn't a computer expert, was told by some consultant that they need something more large scale when they really don't. Of course, a lot of consultants love to push expensive overpriced systems. Or perhaps you're a student, small business owner, hobbyist, or other non-computer type person who just wants to learn what Microsoft Access is and how it can benefit you. In any case, in this video, I'm going to tell you why Access is a fantastic choice for pretty much all of your database needs, what its key benefits are, and why you should consider using it for your next project. First, Access is much better than storing your data in Excel, especially if you're sharing that data with other people. I've got a whole video dedicated to when you should use Access versus Excel. I love Excel, but it's better at analyzing small amounts of data. Once your sheets get up over a couple hundred rows, it's time for Access. Access is inexpensive to get up and running. At the time I'm recording this video, September of 2021, a Microsoft 365 subscription is $12.50 per month, and that includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and the rest of the Office suite. Plus, you only need to buy one copy of the software for the developer, you. Everyone else can use the free runtime version. I just saw an ad on Google while searching for Access stuff, and the caption said, Is Microsoft Access holding you back? So I clicked on the ad just to see what it's about. I won't mention the product, but their lowest tier of service was $500 per month. So yeah, most small businesses can't afford that for a database. While Access may not be as easy to learn as Excel, Access is a whole lot easier to learn than SQL Server, Oracle, or some other high-end database platforms. Access has a user interface that's very similar to the other Microsoft Office applications. If you already know Word and Excel, you'll be very comfortable with Access from the start. Familiar keystrokes like Control-Z to undo are the same in all the applications. Not only is Access easy to learn, but you can get started learning for free with my 4-Hour Beginner Access Level 1 course. Access allows you to create very user-friendly interfaces for the databases you build. You can design forms and reports however you see fit. Want to put nice little search buttons on your forms next to fields? No problem. Do you have users with poor eyesight? Not an issue. Make forms designed for them with nice big fields and fonts. You are in charge. And again, if your users already know Word and Excel, they'll be comfortable with your database interface. Now, while I personally don't use other people's templates, I prefer to build databases myself from scratch, there are hundreds of templates available from Microsoft and other sources. Many of these templates are free, some cost a very small amount. Plus, I've got tons of templates available on my website too. Access allows you to create relationships very easily. This is when you have customers with orders, vendors with products, cars with drivers, and so on. That information should go into separate tables. This is difficult to do with some other database programs and pretty much impossible to do with just Excel spreadsheets. Once you've learned the basics, you can put together a new database in a very small amount of time. In fact, you can be up and running with a simple customer database complete with contact history, order entry, invoicing, and more in less than a day. I've got free videos to show you how to do all of that in just a couple hours. Since Access is a part of Microsoft Office, it integrates well with Word, Excel, and Outlook. It's very easy to import or export Excel data. You can use your Access database as a data source for a mail merge with Word. You can send emails directly from Access to Outlook with minimal effort. It's much cheaper to design and build a database in Access than it is in Oracle SQL Server or other industry-level database management systems. Not only are these databases more difficult to set up and build, they're more costly to maintain. You don't need a dedicated IT employee on staff to manage an Access database, although it doesn't hurt. Access has lots of wizards built into it to help you with tasks that might be difficult for beginner developers, such as creating combo boxes, 
drop down lists or command buttons. It's super easy to create professional looking printable reports in Access. You don't need third party reporting tools to create invoices, financial statements, charts, mailing labels, or even producing written correspondence, either as individual letters or bulk mail. Plus, you can easily export your reports as PDF files. I get asked all the time about integrating Access with third party programs like Crystal Reports. My response is always, why? I have yet to come across a report that I can't generate with Access alone. With Access, it's easy to add or change things around with minimal effort. Need to add a few fields to your order table? No problem. Access will even automatically rename objects for you most of the time. Want to add a few new reports to the accounting system? Very quick and easy to do. You don't need to schedule three meetings and take two weeks to add a couple of fields to your order table and form. Access is fully compliant with the Open Database Connectivity Standards. You can easily connect to other database servers, SQL Server, MySQL, and more, even over the internet. If you currently have an SQL Server database that your organization is using, you can connect access to it for reporting, data entry, and so on. If you've got multiple people who need to use the database, access makes sharing very easy. All you have to do is split the database, Put the tables on one computer, a server, or even just another workstation on your network, and put a front-end file on everyone else's computer that needs to use it. I've even got a tool available that helps you to update everyone's front-end files with a single click. It's called the Access Updater. You can easily integrate with an online database such as SQL Server or SharePoint to share your data over the internet, which is handy if you have remote workers. Remote users can even connect to your Access database using their Android, iPhone, tablet, or other similar device. They can connect on the road, from home, or anywhere they have an internet connection. One of the complaints I see online from people who don't know Access is that the maximum size of an Access database is only 2 gigabytes. While a single Access file can only hold 2 gigabytes of data, you can link multiple Access files together to store virtually unlimited amounts of data. Plus, there are lots of tricks and optimizations you can perform, including archiving old data, splitting off fields into separate tables, and more. If your data needs are growing, and you've gone from 5 people using the database to 50, it's very easy to upsize the back-end data storage and processing to SQL Server while still maintaining the front-end access database you've spent a lot of time and hard work building. You don't lose your initial investment. You just move the data. A lot of so-called database experts consider Access to be an amateur's database. However, it does pack a lot of power under the hood. You've got the full Visual Basic for Applications programming language that lets you do pretty much anything you can think of as far as application programming. Plus, once you connect to SQL Server, you'll be hard-pressed to find a better database solution available. Watch my Intro to VBA video for a quick introduction to this powerful programming language. Once you know a little VBA programming, it's possible to set up proper security for your database and assign permissions to users and groups. Need even more security? Upgrade to SQL Server and your data is locked down like Fort Knox while you can continue to develop in Microsoft Access. Now this is a big one. I get asked this at least a couple times a week. Is Access going away? The answer is an emphatic no. Access has been around since 1992. I started working with it in 1994. It's one of the most popular database applications available today. Contrary to what you may have read online, Microsoft has no plans to retire Access anytime soon. It'll be here for the foreseeable future. Since Access is so popular, there is no shortage of Access consultants out there to get help from. My advanced developer students love to help out other users in my Access forums. Some are even available for one-on-one -on -one consulting for a small fee. Plus, there are many other active online communities for Access developers and users around the Internet. In conclusion, while there may be other high-end database platforms out there, Microsoft Access is easy to learn and inexpensive, but it's also very capable of growing with you. It's extremely customizable and scalable, so as your business grows, your database can grow too. 
Want to learn more? Visit my website using one of the many links provided on any of the topics discussed in this video. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or post them in the comments section below this video. Also, be sure to watch my free four hour long Access Beginner Level 1 course. It will teach you all of the basics of getting up and running in Microsoft Access. I hope you enjoyed the benefits of an Access database brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. Thanks for watching.